it's November 1st, it's a new month, um, and I'm back with weekly vlogs because the one week I took off in October to take a break from weekly vlogs was the week I didn't read anything. So clearly these weekly vlogs actually work. So let's hop into it. I'm gonna set you down where the lighting is semi-decent, but not really decent at all. Whoa, because uh, the clocks went back at the weekend. So we are officially in the winter season. We're in Christmas season pretty much. Right. You're gonna stay there and we're gonna talk about the books that I want to read in this vlog. This vlog is themed and it's going to be themed to unknown books. <laughs> I've done one of these videos before where I read books that booktube hadn't heard of before um, and it went down really, really well. I did it in like 2021, I wanna say, early 2021, so last year. And I attempted to do it when I came back to YouTube a couple of months ago and it just kind of flopped. It didn't really like turn out into the vlog that I was hoping. So we're trying again, third time lucky, fingers crossed anyway. So the first book I want to read in this vlog, I'm going to attempt to the first one. I started last night, I got 17 pages in, so I don't really class it as starting it. It's um, In Case of Emergency by Porna Bell. I've taken the dust jacket off already because obviously I started reading it. This is the book that Penguin Random House and Century Books sent me for review. So I wanted to read it. I haven't heard anyone on BookTube talk about it. So I thought this is a perfect time to read it and to kick off November strong because yes, my Christmas books are really tempting me, but I have a plan for them. It's <laughs> however much I want to listen to Christmas music and just get in a Christmas feel. I feel like it's a little bit too early. So I'm trying to hold off by reading a book I'm really, really excited for, which is In Case of Emergency by Porna Bell. This book basically follows our main character, Belle, who is struggling with life and struggling to reach out when she needs help from her family and friends. And then unfortunately she has this really traumatic accident happen and she ends up in a coma. And when she wakes up from that coma, the last person she expects to be by her bedside table, bedside table? Bedside. <laughs> is her ex-boyfriend and that's because he was part of her emergency contact and that's who got contacted accidentally and it made her realise that she needs to start reaching out for help more with the people that are actually close to her. So, so far nothing has really happened but I'll keep you updated. And the next book I want to read in this vlog, a very different like genre, it's fantasy, let me get it, is A Magic Seeped in Poison. This was also on my November TBR, if you haven't seen it, I'll link them above and down below but I really, really want to give this book a go. This is a fantasy book based around the art of tea making and Chinese mythology. It sounds really, really interesting, so I just want to give it a go. I loved House and the Resurian Sea, so I have her hopes for another book outside my typical genre. So those are two books I'm planning on reading this week. Not this week. <laughs> Who do you think I am reading two books in a week? Doesn't really happen very much anymore, but these are the two books I'm planning to read in this vlog. <laughs> I was about to say this week's vlog again, not this week's vlog. I'm just gonna vlog until I finish these two books. It might like obviously go over a week, but that is the aim. I'm going to hopefully read a hundred pages of In Case of Emergency today and really get my teeth into it because I didn't really get my teeth into it um, yesterday. I just realized this says signed by the author. How did I only just realize that? Anyway, so yeah, that's the plan. I will keep posted and I'll take you along on my week reading two books that are not really read or talked about on BookTube. Wednesday I didn't update yesterday because I didn't really do much and Monday's plan didn't really go to plan because I didn't read 100 pages of this book however I am now 100 pages into it or 90 pages into it I fell asleep before I could get to 100 pages last night because I am so tired I'm so tired this eye, eye is blurry um, it happens sometimes when I'm overtired I hate it um, I feel like my eyesight is going but it's just like a temporary thing when I'm really tired this eye goes really blurry um, what was I going to say? Yeah, <laughs> 100 pages into this and it's fine. It is what it is. It basically started off with 
this main character in her company. She doesn't really have anyone close, like close by around her. It kind of like explains that a little bit that she doesn't really see her parents very often. She has no kind of close friends. She's not with anyone significant. And she's just at this job and she's kind of like living life. And then she falls down a kind of, what would you call it, a pothole that kind of like goes into a pub cellar. So I'm assuming it's one of those crates in the ground that isn't uh, closed up. And she, um, for, like, um, she fortunately doesn't get injured uh, at all, but she does end up in hospital and they've called her emergency contact, which was her ex-boyfriend. And now she kind of realises that she has no one close to her and she kind of needs to rekindle some old friendships. And she's just kind of like reached out to a few people and that's kind of it. Like nothing has really happened yet. I was expecting more from this book, not gonna lie. So hopefully it will improve and it'll get better, but I'm not really connected to the characters. I'm not really invested in the story, but I do want to give this book like a good, decent go. So hopefully I can read a bit more today and I'll keep posted on my thoughts, but it is not even six o'clock yet. It's like 20 to six, 5.30, 20 to six. Can I tell? Yeah, 26, 39. Um, so I'm just packing up to go to work because I'm hitting the gym this morning with my friend and that's about it, so I'll keep posted. going to give it a 3.5 stars. I did end up really enjoying, like I said before, the relationships between our main character Belle and her sister and the ones that she was like reforming after having a massive falling out with her friend from the past. You also got that timeline of how she fell out with her friends. There was a lot of interesting topics discussed like Indian culture because the main character is Indian and how she perceived her parents to be as she was growing up and then kind of figuring out her life and how she was like code switching a lot of the time and she had that discussion with her sister and I thought that was a really well discussed part of the book. So there were some really interesting aspects to this book. It did take me a while to get into it, probably about 150 to 200 pages, but then the last half of the book I really enjoyed. So that's kind of why I got to the 3.5 star rating. I wouldn't read this book if you are triggered by sexual assault, um, just because there is mention of it at the end of the book. It's not on page, um, but it does kind of reference it, and that is kind of why one of the situations that our main character goes through is stemmed upon. So yeah, just be wary of that if you're interested in this book. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I had a fun time reading it. I enjoyed the character arc. This book is definitely a character development book. So if you are heavy on plot, once again, this book may not be for you because it's very heavy in character development and yeah, character driven. So that's that. Happy that it's done. Yay. Once again, oh, I'll just scratch my face. Once again, thank you to Penguin Random House and Century Books for sending me a copy of this book. Yeah. Very happy that I read it. It was a very interesting read. So one is done. I was going to head into A Magic Steed in Poison by Judy Lynn next, which is on my bookcase over there. Arrow over there somewhere, um, <laughs> if you can see it. But I do kind of have a little bit of a deadline to read the arc of The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk because I do have something exciting coming up related to this and I would feel bad for promoting it if I hadn't read it first. So I think I'm gonna try and balance my time this week in reading The Magic Seed and Poison by Judy Lynn and A Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk. So that is that. I'm going to make dinner now because it's gone six o'clock. Shower, wash my hair, get ready to go into work tomorrow. 
and then I will settle down, start my new book, waiting for the next episode of I'm a Celebrity to start. That's my plan for the evening and I cannot wait. <laughs> You're balancing on my drinks cup. Very risky. Um, I just thought I'd come in with an update because I haven't updated in a while and the last time I updated was Monday and it's now Thursday afternoon. I'm just on my lunch break at work and I've been reading The Christmas Wish, which I did say I was going to start. However, I haven't started any of The Magic Steep and Poison because this book is like too good to put down. <laughs> I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, this is an ARC version of The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk that HarperCollins kindly gifted me a couple of weeks back now. And then like a week or so ago, they were like, hey, do you want the final copy? And I was like, um, yes, please. Because if you didn't know, Lindsay Kelk is one of my autobi authors, one of my go-to authors. I absolutely love her. She is hilarious. I love all her books. So of course I had to say yes. And it arrived yesterday evening. I didn't film unboxing it because I got too excited. I had a lot of parcels arrive at my doorstep yesterday, which were very exciting. So I didn't film unboxing it, but here it is. This is the final copy. So don't look for this book in the bookstores. Look for this book in the bookstores. And if you get the hardback, I'm sorry, but it's stunning. Like, it's so pretty. And then I'm assuming this is Indie Kelk's signature. I'm not actually too sure what this is, but that's all I can kind of think it to be. And then the M pages, it's stunning. So thank you HarperCollins for sending me the, not only the ARC, but the final copy too, because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Um, and it's gorgeous inside as well. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm laughing out loud on multiple occasions. The one thing I have of Lindsay Kelk's books as the main character always seems so similar and I don't know if that's because I love the I Heart series so much but every single main character because she always writes a female lead it just reminds me of Angela Clark so much <laughs> I don't know why but every single female lead I read of hers I'm like hmm this reminds me of Angela Clark who is the female lead of the I Heart series if you weren't aware but that being said I'm really really enjoying this book it basically follows our main character Glenn no not Glenn Gwen <laughs> It follows our main character, Gwen, who has Christmas Day, absolutely fine, nothing happens, well actually quite a lot happens, it's very dramatic, um, but she can't think of a better way to spend Christmas Day than with her family, so her nan, her mum, her dad, her kind of cousin, but is also a brother because she's grew up with him, and her sister and her husband and her kids, and she has Christmas Day, all is good, and then she wakes up and it's Christmas Day all over again, and she's in this kind of like groundhog situation. And she kind of comes to the realisation that she needs to grant everyone in her family's like Christmas wish before she can kind of get back to normal and stop the time loop. So you go on different adventures of her trying to grant everyone's Christmas wish. So granting her mum's Christmas wish, her dad's Christmas wish, her sister's Christmas wish, her cousin's Christmas wish, her nan's Christmas wish. And I'm not usually one to be like, oh my God, Groundhog Day sort of situation. I find those books very repetitive, but because she goes on little mini adventures on each Christmas day, trying to figure out and complete the Christmas wish for that person, it is really, really enjoyable. And it's so easy to read, so quick to get through. I am laughing out loud on multiple occasions, on like multiple points of one page. So yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. Thought I'd come in with an update about that. I'm hoping I can finish it tonight. I've got 150 pages left of it. So I'm hoping that I can, and then for the remainder of this vlog, Friday, Saturday, and a little bit of Sunday, but probably not very much Sunday because I'm going to a concert, um, I will start a Magic Seat, on po seat in Poison, which is still on my bedside table. So yeah, that's the update, and I'll hopefully come back in once I finish this book. I'm coming in to interrupt this reading vlog because I have a really, really exciting announcement that I need to let you guys know so you can hopefully win some things because it's a giveaway in partnership with Harbour Fiction, which is so, so exciting. So obviously in this vlog, I have just finished reading The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk. This is the ARC version, which I have read, which was kind of gifted to me by Harbour Fiction. And then they also kind of gifted me the hardback official release copy of The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk. I gave this a four stars in the vlog. You guys have just seen that portion, so I don't need to ramble on about what it's about, but it's a great, great, great Christmas rom-com that came out in November that you should get your hands on. And Harper Fiction have teamed up with a few kind of Instagrammers and booktubers to host a giveaway to celebrate the release of Lindsay Kelk's Christmas Wish novel. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is click on my link down below and it'll take you to a new page where you can 
complete loads of different kind of things to enter. You can follow Lindsay Kelk on Twitter, you can follow Harper Fiction, I think. There's a lot of different ways to enter and you can do all of them or just one of them, whatever kind of floats your boat. And if you win that giveaway, you win a final copy of The Christmas Wish. Plus, which is why I'm so excited for this giveaway, you win the entire I Heart series box set, which is so exciting because you guys know this is one of my favourite series of all time. I absolutely love Angela Clark, who is the female lead in this book series, and it's just absolutely incredible, and it's the perfect series to curl up and cuddle up with on a wintry night to transport you to another part of the world. You can go to New York, Hollywood, Paris, Vegas, London, Hawaii, you can go to all these fun places with Angela Clark's adventures in the I Heart series, and you win all of these eight books, plus a final copy of The Christmas Wish with this giveaway. And all you have to do is click the link below. Like, how good is that? So a massive thank you to Harper Fiction for allowing me to promote this giveaway and allow you guys to win nine books. Like, what a fun Christmas present. So this giveaway is currently open and it will close on Thursday the 28th of November, so a week just over a week left to enter when you see this video. If you enter, let me know in the comments down below by commenting a present emoji. I would love to know if you guys have entered and I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. I can't rave about Lindsay Kelk enough. She is a brilliant writer. If you love humour in your writing and you're in your books, this is an author that you definitely need to give a go. And I'm just so happy that I'm able to bring you guys this giveaway to allow you to get nine, nine Lindsay Kelk books that are just amazing. So yeah. I'll stop rambling, commence with the vlog, but if you want to enter, the link is down below. Thank you so much, Harper Fiction, for gifting me the ARC and the physical copy and allowing me to take part in this giveaway to promote this book for you. So yeah, yay! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> I'm coming in with an update a day later because I have finished The Christmas Wish. It's now Friday afternoon, I'm just on my lunch break for work and I thought I'd come in and update the vlog because I finished it and I gave it a four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. I was constantly laughing out loud. There's not too much to update since yesterday's update. My thoughts haven't really changed. It was just a joyous, heartwarming, a self-discovery Christmas rom-com that just like made me feel happy. And isn't that what Christmas books are meant to do? Christmas films, Christmas books, Christmas festivities, anything like that if you celebrate Christmas. It's meant to make you feel happy and make your heart feel full and this is exactly what this book did and I just really really enjoyed it. So that is The Christmas Wish Red. It is a Friday afternoon as I just said. So I technically have like three days left. This vlog was meant to go up on Sunday. I don't think that's going to happen because I want to kind of get a really good chunk of this book done in this vlog to give you guys a real like proper thoughtful opinion on it before I close out this vlog. I might not finish it in this vlog but I do want to start it and get like halfway through so I can give you like a solid opinion on it. So this is my next port of call. Cool. It's The Magic Seat in Poison by Judy Lin and this is a book based around tea making in Chinese mythology. It's a fantasy. So I'm really excited to jump right in and start it today and then hopefully finish it like early next week. This vlog now I think is going to go up Tuesday instead of Sunday just to give me a little bit more time to read it. So yeah, that's that's the update. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't know when I last updated. I think it might have been Friday and I said I would finish this book early next week. <laughs> I think that's what I said and um it's now Wednesday morning so we're at midweek and um this video's now going out tomorrow and I'm only 77 pages into this book. I don't know whether to give up on it and DNF it so I feel like it's pulling me into a slump. I just I don't think I'm vibing with it. I don't know whether it's the book, whether it's me because all I want to do is like read Christmas books and kind of finish my end of the year TBR which I planned out. I've actually got a doctor's appointment today all the way in London so I have to commute for that um, so I'll have like about an hour there and an hour back to read. So what I'm going to do, this is the plan. <laughs> I am going to read as much as I can on my train there and back of this, hopefully reading like another, another 50 to 100 pages of it and then we will reassess the situation. If I get back from my doctor's appointment, my hospital appointment today, and I'm still not vibing this book, and I'm like 150 to almost 200 pages into this, I will DNF it. Although it sounds stupid DNFing it, page like 200, but it's like a 400 page book. So I would still only be about halfway. It's a 420 something book. Yeah, 415 page book. So 
I feel happy with trying to read as much as I can today on the train journeys and then when I get home reassess and if I'm not vibing with it then I will DNF it which is a really sad way to end this vlog but I have really enjoyed the other two books I read in this vlog so it is just what it is and I'm not a massive fantasy reader so it takes a lot for me to enjoy a fantasy so that's where we're at. I wasn't going to finish this book anyway for this vlog so the fact that I can DNF it kind of means that I've finished the book and kind of wrapped up this vlog properly but without rambling I will do what I said, read this on the train and I will reassess and update you later on this evening, afternoon, evening, time, yes and then this vlog will go up tomorrow. Woo! I'm back home now and um <laughs> don't judge me for getting straight into my PJs into my dressing gown the minute I, I sat down and got in because that's what I usually do but um I'm hiding my face because I read two pages two pages more of A Magic Sleep and Poison. I got to page 79. <laughs> Basically, I wasn't feeling great on the train. I think I'm kind of like developing some sort of train motion sickness, especially on um, the underground rather than like mainline trains. I don't know what it is. It's weird. I can't, I can't read on them. I don't know why, but that's what happened. And then I was so tired on the way back after having my bloods done and the chaos of hospital appointments. If you go off often and regular, you will know my, my pain right now. So I didn't read anything. I had high hopes, but I didn't. But not only that, it's I think I'm not inclined to read this book because I'm just not vibing with it. I'm not enjoying it. I just don't want to put my time and effort into this book right now. I'm going to keep it. I am DNFing it officially. I'm going to DNF it. But I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to unhaul it yet because I feel like I could still enjoy this book. It basically follows our main character whose mother has died, who used to be this really famous kind of tea making magician-esque thing. So basically in this world, there are people who can heal you and do loads of like, give you different emotions and do loads of stuff with different tea blends and you become like a master of making tea and loads of things can happen depending on what tea you give people. Um, and this main character's mother's died. Her sister was meant to take her mother's role, but the main character accidentally poisons her sister. Um, so then she's left in bed and the main character then has to try and take over this apprenticeship and she's gone to the main city to try and get help to cure her sister because she's like they poisoned her sister and I've got to the point where she's like in the front of loads of judges and she's about to make loads of tea and I just I don't care I just I don't care so yeah that's that <laughs> the start of this vlog started really well Obviously, I'm going to wrap up now, but as a little recap, let me set you down so you're not like bobbling around everywhere. So, in this vlog, I read In Case of Emergency by Paul Nobel, which was kind of gifted to me from Penguin Random House and Century Books, and I gave a four stars. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Took a while to get into it, but we got there in the end, and I ended up really enjoying it. And then we read an arc that was kind of gifted to me by Harper Fiction, which was The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk. And a reminder, the giveaway is still live as you're watching this video, so make sure you click the link in my description if you want to enter the giveaway. And I gave a book a 4.5 stars, really, really enjoyed it. And then we ended on a little bit of a low by trying and attempting to read A Magic Seat and Poison, but unfortunately, yeah. Uh, not for me but that's fine not every book is going to be for you and obviously I am a, like a non-fantasy reader so allowing myself to give fantasy a go is a big step anyway and I want to keep this book because it's so pretty and I will try again in the future when I'm a little bit more in a fantasy mood but I think we're just getting to the end of the year and I just want to read my end of year TBR and I want to read all the Christmas books and I just don't think me and this book are connecting as one at the minute if we'll say that. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. It's been a long time in the making. So if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe down below to show your support because it means the absolute world to me. If you are now interested in any of these books, let me know down in the comments below what ones you're interested in, which ones you want to read. Or if you've read this book, let me know if it's worth giving another go uh, because I haven't really seen many people, obviously the whole point of this vlog, I haven't seen many people read this book. So I would like to know your thoughts if you have read it in the comments down below. And what are you currently reading? Let me know. Give me a reading update in the comments as well. I love chatting with you guys. And without further ado, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.